lot of the, the, the conversations I've been having recently are about, um, you know, being able to segment your audience effectively and treat them dynamically depending on where they came from and the actions that they take on your site, for instance. So if you can plan, if you're planning a campaign with specific influencers at specific times, then making sure that you're keeping track of those people who come to your site and then following up with with marketing or emailing or just retargeting that references the, the you know the influencer that brought them there as well i imagine tactics like that are going to help move the needle as well yeah definitely i mean that was with the fifth for example we used to do that down to the email that they would get when it became time to shop because the fifth was a bit different we only sold on the fifth of each month for five days so it was that kind of limited exclusive scarcity model um but when they did go to the website, we um, would use the actual image that triggered them to sign up uh, to re-engage them to shop. So, you know, whether they remembered that image actively or not, they would have, you know, that kind of, they'd be the fam familiar, I can't speak, familiarity bias. <laughs> yeah, the con we always say continuity, right? Like even if it's subconscious, they would have seen, you know, it would bring them back to that first experience. Exactly. and make it more continuous so influencer marketing is great like that because you can you know it, that sort of stuff is easy to track very cool so um i'm running out of time here the sun coming through the window is soon going to be directly in my eyes here so but i wanted to talk we're, i'm super excited to release this case study that you've produced with us uh, you know obviously i just came came from the shopify mastermind and uh you know hearing about what makes viral content it's like 